Ladies and gents, almost you react and this is the most efficient way to destroy the universe. False vacuum by the channel Kasgas are in a shell. Yeah, another way to die, uh, you know, way to kill the universe uh, theory. Uh, what if there is a way to destroy the universe so fundamentally that life as we know it will be impossible forever? Yeah, so uh, this is basically vacuum decay, right? So <clears throat> first of all, uh, everything uh, wants to be at the its uh, you know lowest energy form right uh, lowest and basic energy form which is called a vacuum state right uh, so when it comes to Higgs field Higgs field that gives all of us mass Higgs field uh, it's it's you know something called false vacuum so it's not as it's uh, you know true vacuum state basically I mean that's what scientists are right now theorizing. So basically, uh, it still has somewhat energy in it. It's not its its lowest energy form at the true vacuum form. So any kind of event could basically trigger uh, the Higgs field to shed its energy and go at its you know true vacuum form and in turn you know decaying, creating vacuum decay and basically ending the universe. That's my basic knowledge of this. Let's see uh, how Kuzgasad in detail explain this. Uh, remember, if you like my reaction, don't forget to like and subscribe. So, I know which type of videos to react to more. Check out all the videos Sunday. There's a link in the description. Check out the cards or plays. Check out the end cards. And, and yeah, that's all this one. What if our universe comes with a self destruct button to eliminate itself so cleanly and efficiently that every single physical thing would just stop existing and life would be impossible forever? The ultimate ecological catastrophe vacuum decay. To explain how our universe could destroy itself, we need to understand two principles. One, energy levels. A core idea in physics is that everything has an energy level. The higher the level, the more energy is in the system. Wood, for example, has a high level. It can more be burned, a process that releases the chemical energy stored in its molecular bonds and turns it into heat. The ash left over is at a lower energy level than the wood before. Two, Stability. Everything in our universe tries to move towards its ground state, in which it's completely stable and has as little energy as possible. For example, a ball on a hill is unstable and has a lot of potential energy. When disturbed, it will roll down into the valley and lose its potential energy in the process. The ball is now in its ground state and stable. It will remain like that. Everything in our universe follows these two principles. If something has a lot of energy, it's unstable and wants to get rid of it to become stable and reach its ground state. This is true for every system, even in the weird world of quantum mechanics. Yeah. If our current understanding of physics is correct, then the universe gets its properties from quantum fields. We explain them in detail in another video. For this video, imagine them as the rules of the universe. They tell particles how to behave and interact. Like everything in the universe, they want to be in the lowest energy level possible, which is called a vacuum state. This has nothing to do with vacuum in space. Yeah. It's just called this way because scientists are bad at naming things. <laughs> we think all the fields reached their vacuum state, except maybe one. It's possible that the Higgs field is not stable, but metastable, which is a fancy way of saying that it pretends to be stable, but really is not it would be a false vacuum. The Higgs field is responsible for giving particles their mass, which rules how almost everything in the universe interacts. What would happen if the Higgs field is in a false vacuum? Think of our ball in the valley. The ball is the Higgs field. The valley might not be the lowest energy state for the Higgs field. There might be an even deeper valley that it wants to get to. This would mean that the Higgs field has a lot of potential energy waiting to be released. The Higgs field could be like a piece of wood, but drenched in gasoline, waiting to set the universe on fire. A random spark, like quantum tunneling, could release the potential energy of the Higgs field. This could happen at any time and without warning. If at any point in space this so-called vacuum decay starts, there is no turning back. Yeah. As the Higgs field crashes into the... So yeah, basically, you know, Higgs field, I thought, you know, yeah, basically it has layer of uh, you know being at different states 
uh, rather than you know pretending to be at a, you know true vacuum you know you need uh, you know you need a nudge uh, Hicksville needs a nudge to go even lower energy level I guess so if some kind of an uh, you know a, a event or something uh, you know, any higher energy level of event that could trigger something like you know Hicksville to go even lower energy and try to be true truer vacuum state that would be catastrophic right that would create a vacuum decay and that would be so fucked up a lower energy state it releases a massive amount of potential energy yeah this energy pushes the space around it over the barrier which releases more potential energy a sphere of the new stable Higgs field or true vacuum grows at the speed of light in all directions imagine it like setting a sea of gasoline the size of the universe on fire the sphere is surrounded by a shell of energy that devours everything it comes into contact with. Whatever it touches is eliminated from existence. The bubble will continue to grow forever, deleting the universe on its way. There is no way to be there warned since it's so fast, but there's nothing we could do anyway. Our destruction would be instant. I like, first of all, I like this channel because, you know, the way he explains how they saw, you know, this Higgs orb and gives blanket and you know the pillow like oh isn't that cute so you know it's like he made this video for kids or something but you know so far reacting to Kuzgaza video I always see that you know Kuzgaza video ends really dark and grim sometimes because that's how the universe is I mean you can't really blame him but still it ends really dark like oh it's a, you might die instantly you can't even know it but yeah it's not like you can do anything about it <laughs> in a fraction of a second earth would be gone but it actually gets worse if the energy level of the Higgs field changes, it changes all of physics. In the true vacuum of the sphere, the standard model will be overthrown, superseded by different physics that we don't know. How fundamental particles behave, how atoms hold together, how chemicals react. Vacuum decay won't just destroy life, it will destroy chemistry itself, making yeah. life as we know it impossible. Destroy things at the fundamental levels, basically. We simply have no idea what it would be like inside. It might be a shadow of what it is now. Or not. We don't know. If vacuum decay happens, the outlook is indeed grim. If you feel slightly worried now, don't be. At this point, false vacuum is speculation based on our current understanding of particle physics. Yeah, I mean, you know, there are so many holes in our understanding. So many fundamental things that we don't know about physics and laws of physics. So lots of, the lots of these theories comes out from our current understanding, which could be flawed in itself, right? All the things we know, uh, all the people theorize that, you know, from gravity to everything, we could discover something that could uh, change our complete understanding of it. Not change that we already know, but modify it in a way that, you know, outcome of things might be completely different. So this might, obviously, is one of, one of those things this might not be true. But if it is true, uh, if a vacuum decay does happen, then it will change things at the fundamental level, how physics uh, work, basically. So it could create a different universe that, you know, laws of physics are kind of different. You know, it works differently. And who knows, our universe might be a temporary universe before Higgs fills, you know, calms down and stables out, basically. Goes to the true vacuum state. And then whatever comes out from that is basically the truer, truer universe with the truer laws of physics, who the hell knows. Maybe we are living in some volatile universe that is just temporary. Which might be wrong. It's kind of like using a ruler to measure a continent. <laughs> sure, you can do it, but you might be off by quite a bit at the end. Yeah. Right now, no one can say if vacuum decay is a thing that's real or just a scary idea. But even if one or multiple spheres of death have already started expanding, the universe is so big that they might not reach us for billions of years. If they're far enough away, they might not ever be able to reach us because of the expansion of the universe. The speed of light is not that fast on the scale of the universe. So while vacuum decay is fascinatingly scary, right now there are other things we should be more afraid of. Yeah. In contrast to vacuum decay, we have just like vacuum decay there are you know two neutral stars could collide somewhere and create this you know strange light and strange matter that basically touches everything and turn it into strange matter literally zombie particle shower of rain of these particles basically coming towards us and might you know basically change our entire solar system into strange matter including us
So there's already something like this that could be coming towards us that might be really close. This thing could happen in anywhere, right? In any part of any, uh, you know, entire universe in different galaxies or something. So it might take a long time. This is at the fundamental levels. But strange matter, two neutron stars c c colliding could, uh, you know, trigger that. So that might be much closer to the, us than this. Have the power to prepare for most of them. And also all Videos these like things. this one take hundreds of hours to make. Yeah, we will go to patreon.com for us Gazette and support this channel. This is a really good channel. I love reacting to the, all the science video from this. Yeah, all the, you know, uh, different uh, theories of how the world is going to end. False vacuum is also one of those out there theories, but sure, it could happen. But I feel like, you know, we are, we, we are going to, you know, realize one day that, you know, we discover some things here and there that our, you know, understanding of physics was not complete. And so this uh, false vacuum is just thing that we thought of it is true, but it's not how, you know, Higgs field work. And uh, maybe we were wrong. So I feel like this is more out there thing, but sure, it could happen. Well, people, that was the most efficient way to destroy the universe, false vacuum, by the channel, because they're in a nutshell. If you like my Rick's and no like and subscribe, check out the Rick's Sunday, there's a link in the description, check out the castle, please check out the end cards, and I'll see you next time.